Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a water lily. Now, it was created by New York bartender Richard Boccaccio in 2007, and you can find it in this book, The PDT Cocktail Book, on page 263. And if you read the small little insert into it, it was signed as reading, it was one day served to a friend of Richard's whose middle name was Lily. Hence the name, a water lily. Now, having said that, it's based on a last word template, basically equal parts, meaning three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters. However, based on the size of my coupe, I'm going to go a little bit bigger with one ounce measures. And this is a shaking cocktail, so grab your shaking glass. And we're going to start this with a little bit of creme de violette. Now I'm using Giffard brand here, really hard to get. I had to actually get it from a friend of mine named John. Thank you, John, I really appreciate it. And we're going to start, as I said, with one ounce or 30 mils. Your second ingredient that we're going to use today is an orange liqueur. Now, Richard did use Cointreau, so that's what I will use. And this is a 40% uh, ABV cocktail, alcohol by volume, where the creme de violette is a 16% ABV. And we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Now I've heard that this cocktail is supposed to be much better than an aviation. So you know what, make sure you stick around with me just so we can find out how good this actually is. Now the recipe also calls for a Plymouth gin, which I don't have, but I do have some Empress 1908. Now this is a uh, gin from Vancouver that's 42.5% ABV, but it also contains butterfly pea flower. So in combination with our citrus juices, it should give us a lovely color and we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. We're now going to use our citrus juices. And in this case, we're using lemons, not orange. The orange is for the garnish. So give yourself a little bit of a roll, grab your knife, and what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Now that you've added all of your ingredients, what we're going to do is we're gonna fill this with ice and we're gonna shake it hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So you wanna make sure that your glass is completely full of ice and put your lid on there. Make sure it's on good and solid. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Okay, so what you wanna do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons and put this off to the side. Grab yourself a gorgeous looking coupe. Actually put it in whatever you like, but a coupe suits this glass because of the color. Yes, a coupe suits the glass. Having said that, we're just going to fine strain it to keep out any chunks of ice and or lemon pulp. Oh, look how gorgeous that color is. Absolutely fantastic. So what you're gonna do is grab yourself an orange for your garnish and then a Y peeler. And we'll just cut ourselves a nice swath of peel and then express it over the glass. Give your peel a twist and put that into the cocktail as your uh, garnish, and now give it a try. So immediately I get a little bit of orange citrus and lemon. Mm. Mm. That is actually really good, it is better than an aviation. You get those floral notes, you get some orange and lemon held there all together by the gin, and it's actually very nicely balanced. And it is something I'd order if I was going out to the bar. 